my name is Thomas Coffey and uh, I'm working at uh, IRCAM in the mutant team. So I'll show you quickly uh, some of our, our work so, um, on music notation. Um, in the mutant team at IRCAM we work on um, sequencing and score following for interactive, interactive systems. So I'll explain. Uh, Antescofo is the core product of the team and it's um, a combination of um, uh, some things and the idea was to unify um, composition phase and performance phase so to provide a uni unified framework to write and rehearse and, uh, and play interactively on stage as well so basically Antiscofo is a um, has a, an engine which can uh, send messages to uh, various softwares um, so you see uh, what kind of stuff we can do. Maybe I'll show you a quick demo of uh, one uh, possible uh, thing you can do with it. It's automatic accompaniment. So you see the vibraphone playing and the accompaniment uh, follows the speed of the performer. So for beginning he's playing uh, quite straightly. After you will move this tempo, so you will see how Francisco Four slows down the accompaniment. see a max patch um, where on disco four is running. And it's a simulation so I play um, a violin uh, recording. I think it's a less um, piece. So behind is an astrograph, the, it's a score editor for on disco four. So you can follow various moves and So it's a hybrid editor, you can write and change text and see and modify graphically the score. Engine that uh, provide uh, ways to uh, 
program uh, electronic actions and virus that I'll explain later. So the editor um, which uh, monitor and um, make it possible to edit the score uh, is linked by OSC to uh, the undiscovered object in Max. And, uh, so it's quite simple and it works very well. So to feed the score flow, when you begin a new piece, you can import uh, MIDI or Music XML. So it's automat automatically converted to the Antiscophone notation. So, uh, you can see maybe here you, you see an example of uh, a simple piece. Where, oops, sorry. So each nut can be uh, recognized by Antiscopho, and then to each nut you can attach um, electronic actions. So here is a loop, and uh, which is a group uh, with um, several nuts. So you can see in the as well. So it's a very simple and textual way to describe uh, interactivity. Um, you can see the, the groups in the electronic uh, steps. Here is the loop. So um, when uh, we talk about the uh, score following, there are problems sometimes when events are missed or um, when al uh, alignment is not possible. Every piece. So uh, in the team we had to um, add notation for for handling errors and uh, synchronization strategies. So this is an example of a lose um, attribute on a, a group. It's a, it's a way, a simple way to uh, to describe what to do when an event doesn't come or when it comes later. So I go fast because it's. Uh, Things to do to say, but uh, we are shopping fast. I think what is important here is that um, we, we found ways to to express um, tight uh, synchronization uh, mm -hmm. in a simple way. Uh, In the, the expression, we have a uh, variables handling in the language, so you can uh, do uh, all sort of computing in the control domain. As well, one important uh, thing in Antiscopho is that uh, time can be expressed uh, in several ways, so relatively to the tempo or to the detected tempo, or in absolute in millisecond or second. And the language uh, provides various ways to, to manipulate uh, time and write time and synchrony. So, yeah. uh, in Antiscopho, um, the power being chosen was to uh, provide electronic actions with delays, which can be um, expressions as well, so which can be um, dependent of the detected tempo. So it's a um, nice way to do interactive uh, sequencing and stuff like that. So on the graphical part, um, I've integrated the uh, Guido notation in the um, in the graphical uh, display of uh, the score, so you can uh, follow and uh, and see more graphically your scores. And as you saw in the have you seen in the demos, in the videos, you have different scroll, uh, cursor scrolling, so, uh, which shows you where you are in the score. And it's very, very easy to use. So just uh, the IO map of the um, editor, you can feed it with the scores on the score for Music XML or MIDI. It read and write the score. And it sends and uh, read OSC stream for the score for. As well, we had developed um, an iPad version of the editor, which is more like a monitor. So you 
can have one more screen during a performance. If you need a max patch or something. Just some details on, on the interface. And for writing automation, we have a, a construct in the language which is curve. So like a, a BPF, but um, adapted to the tempo, so you can as well use uh, variables and expression depending on the tempo, the detected tempo from this one. So here's uh, some pointers, if you want to read more about it. It's um, extensively uh, developed uh, in IRCAM, and we are working in, as well on the, on the listening machine to provide a better following and more instrument uh, to follow. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.